Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Stock My Closet. Thanks a lot for your love and support. And please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and also click the bell icon to get the new video notification. Hey guys, today I'm sharing very beautiful block printed center panel kurti. So let's get started. This is the measurement I'm using. You can adjust it according to your requirement. I'm using cotton fabric. Crimson is 2.5 meter and yellow is 1.5 meter. Firstly, I'll cut the back of the kurti. And for that, I have folded the fabric by half in width and I've taken the required length including seam allowance. And now I'll quickly mark the measurements. For shoulder, take half of shoulder width. In my measurement, shoulder width is 13.5 inch. So half of it would be 6.75 inch. Mark half inch downwards for shoulder slope. Neck width is 3 inch and join it to the shoulder slope point. Now from this point mark half of armhole round and it's 7 inch for my measurement. I'll just extend this point. Mark 1 inch inwards and join it to the shoulder slope point. Now from the top mark a point at 10.5 inch shoulder to apex point, at 14 inch shoulder to waist point and 21 inch shoulder to hip point and extend these points. Now I'll mark the round measurements. For chest I'm adding 2 inch of ease. In my measurement chest is 31 inch and 31 plus 2 is 33 and dividing it by 4 I'll get 8.25 inch. For burst I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement burst is 32 inch. So 32 plus 3 is 35 and dividing it by 4 I'll get 8.75 inch. For waist, I am adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, waist is 28 inch. So 28 plus 3 is 31. And dividing it by 4, I will get 7.75 inch. For hip, I am adding 5 inch of ease. In my measurement, hip is 37 inch. So 37 plus 5 is 42. And dividing it by 4, I will get 10.75 inch. Now I'll join these points. For center panel, I'll just mark midpoints of round measurements. And I'll join these points as well. Keep the ruler on the waist point and extend it through hip point till bottom. Mark midpoint on the bottom line. Measure hip to bottom and mark the same measurement on this line as well and join it with the slight curve to the bottom line. Extend the center panel line as well. We need seam allowance to attach center and side panels. So I'll mark side seam allowance point at 1.5 inch instead of 1 inch till hip point. and 2 inch instead of 1.5 inch for upper measurement. Extend seam allowance line till shoulder. I'll cut armhole after stitching both panels. So with this marking is complete. 
Now I'll cut it. Now for front, I'll cut center panel from this contrast fabric. I have folded the fabric according to the required width and now I'll cut it. Similarly, I'll cut the side panels from the same fabric I've cut the back this is the front center panel we have created this customized block printing and we have a detailed video on how to do block printing at home please check the link in the description box or in the comment section as you can see it just looks like a print so we can create awesome designs using block printing I've cut the sleeves using the basic sleeve pattern its link is in the description box and also we have created same print on the sleeves as well so with this cutting of kurti is completed now i'll stitch it firstly i'll attach center and side panel of both front and back So I have stitched both panels, now I'll overlock it. After stitching the panels, again mark the measurements and cut the armhole. For front, I'll make buckram neckline and for back, I'll be using bias tape and I'm cutting round neckline shape for the back. I have cut rectangle shape on the buckram for front neckline and now I will finish necklines. 
to watch detailed video on how to use buckram and bias tape to finish necklines please click the link in the description box i have already shared video on both So I have completed both necklines, now I will stitch shoulder slope. and I'll just overlock it now I'll stitch side fitting seam on both sides And now I'll finish sleeves. And stitch side fitting seam on both sleeves. To attach sleeves, take wrong side of the kurti and right side of the sleeves. Insert the sleeve into the kurti armhole. Match both the centers. And make a stitch.
so I have attached sleeve and now I'll overlock it. And similarly, I'll attach other sleeve. Lastly, I'll finish bottom of the kurti. So my kurti is completed and this is how it looks. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Till then take care. Bye bye.